Hello, ladies. We got what you want, furry critters. Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. Uh, Bloomboro Collector's Box. Coming back at you. Another one. We're going to see if we get some goodies in this one. The first one seemed pretty good. The second one, not so much. But people say it was good, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. You guys tell me. All I know is that when a magic set comes out, the cards that are expensive when it comes out are not the same chase cards two weeks later. So, what well, looks good now will probably be totally different in a couple weeks. So, I don't really pay attention to the pricing prior to release. Um, you know, after release, then we know where stuff's going. Is this Japanese packs? It is. Oh, no. Full tabs. Oh, uh, all right, let's bust open this box and see what we get. <laughs> There's going to be some cute animals. We can we, we can assure you of that. A squirrel and a starscape cleric. And look at this. A foil full art Liliana of the Dark Realms from the commander deck right after it. For our first card in the pack. So that's a pretty decent one, I think. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, she's a four drop. Could go either way. Uh, Keen-eyed curator for our first rare. Lunar Convocation, Bloodroot Apothecary, and another mythic, a Hugs Grizzly Guardian. It's kind of funny. He's got a tiny little head and huge arms and shoulders. Uh, I know some actual people like that. Anyway, Island. Oh, God. We're dropping all the cards. Um, some uncommons and some commons, and we're moving along. Um, the card quality is awful. I've been seeing uh, a lot of people posting online in the uh in the actual like wpn pages that you have to be a store owner to be in uh, on facebook treasure and steam path charger posting a lot about damaged cards coming right out of these collector's boxes um see if any of them in this pack look like that i mean you can tell the quality is just pretty blah i mean it's like they didn't even sharpen the blades on the machines to cut the cards and the quality has just not, not been good lately at all on any of the sets. Uh, but anyway, uh, Tender Wild Guide. I don't want to spend too much time on that because we talk about that every box we open lately. Eluge, the Shoreless Sea for another Mythic. Full Art even. Full Art even. Uh, heart, heart, Hearthborn Battler. I can read. Steelbird Champion and Doorport Mage. Dower? Dowerport, I think. I think it's Dowerport. I don't know. English is bad. Uh... I mean, you're like a month behind on sleep <laughs> and stressed about a million things. English is hard. All right. Rusty old sword and a manifold mouse. And then we got Queen Clement. Valley Flood Collar. Flood Collar? Flood Collar. <laughs> Trail Tracker Scout. Valley Quest Collar. There's a lot of collars here. Why is everybody calling stuff? There's no phones. It's like cute little furry critters in the wilderness. There's no phones. How can they be calling everything? I know. I'm just kidding. God. Lighten up, people. Lighten up. It's just a joke. Fish. War and war leader. Mabel. Ink Eyes. Hey. Ink Eyes is back. Looking awesome. There's cool art on Ink Eyes. Valley Rock Collar. Uh, Roiling Hemp Spear. Wait, wait. Valley Flame Collar. Man, these guys' phone bills going to be off the charts. They're calling everybody. Mm, they're calling the whole valley. With flames? All right. I don't get it either. <laughs> Crag Flame and Starscape Cleric and Paw Patch Recruit. Ron Mouth Viper, one of the better mythics in my opinion. Um, we'll see what happens with it. And Jackdaw Savior and Insatiable Frugivore. God, look at that angry little mouse. Yeesh. All right. Fabled Passage. The card that probably didn't need a reprint. Um, yeah. All right. There we go. Next pack. This will be the pack number six. The last pack of stack number one. Halfway through the box. Give us some goodies. We got Wabbit. Wabbit season. Duck season. Finch season. Finch formation. Oh, wait. Valley Rock Collar again. A lot of duplication. Queen again. Hired Claw and Communal Brewing. The infamous Cruel Claw for another mythic. Mountain. And some bulk. All right. Stack number two, what you got? 
We got five mythics in the first half. Let's see if we can top that. See if we can get another one of those gilded foils. They look really nice. Rabbit. Finch formation again. Mockingbird. <laughs> Holy vey. Um Shy Jetai Dragon Speaker for the next mythic. Dawn's Truce. Uh, Polywog Prodigy. Mockingbird again, because duplication is a real thing lately in Magic. Magic the Gambling. You will get a pair. One pair. It won't be a good pair. It's a pair of twos, but you get a pair. All right. Uh, food and Paw Patch Recruit. Cruel Claws Heist. And Queen. Okay, seriously, these guys don't have opposable thumbs. How do they make hats? All right, uh, Ant Queen, uh, Alania, Divergent Storm, Elspeth, Sun's Champion as a mouse for our next mythic, Mabel, and that's all. All right, so what are you guys thinking of the set so far? All oh, my horrible and, and completely biased opinions beside, beside. I'm just salty. Food. Paw Patch Recruit. Thundercloud Trainer. Dark Star Augur. Paw Patch Recruit again. Rootcast Apprenticeship. Lacun Green Shell. Uh, yeah. Like, seriously, you wouldn't be salty if the company you promote tirelessly for pennies uh, and never ask them for anything sends armed thugs to your door to steal stuff you bought legally. You wouldn't be salty. All right, then. Snail and Thunder Trap Trainer. And then, hey, the Rotten Mouth Viper again. But, hey, duplication in a good way. Season of Loss for two Mythics right in a row. And Bellow, Bar of the Brambles for the third Mythic in this pack. And then Essence Chandler. So we got three Mythics in one pack. That's, uh, that's pretty decent. Pretty decent, I must say. All right. Move it along. Two more packs. Wabbit. Wabbit season. Flowerfoot Swordmaster. And one of the three tree cities. That looks like the winter one. See, it's frozen. Pretty cool looking card. Um, Squirrel Mob. And Fukun Green Shell again. And Moonstone e Eulogist. Yeah. This guy looks crazy. It's like an evil bat thing. All right. And Festival of Embers. Cool. And... You know, there is a little bit of, like, evil-looking stuff in here, so it's not all peachy, but I just think the boxes themselves and the packs just kind of really are kind of inviting that whole cutesy kind of element, kind of pandering to the younger crowd and stuff. Rabbit, spy, Splash Lasher, and that's just not a good thing for the game. Coil and Rebirth, Season of Weaving for another Mythic, Fountain Port, and Rapid Augmenter, Valley Flood Caller, all right. Seriously, though, how are they making armor and weapons without opposable thumbs? Anyways, there we have it. Let's see. How many mythics did we end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Of course, one of them is a duplicate. We got two of the Rotten Mouth Vipers there. Um, all right, not too bad. Some decent stuff. Start off with Liliana. Not the Liliana everybody's going to be excited about because... It's not a hot chick. It's the exact opposite of a hot chick. It is some creepy looking little nightmare squirrel thing. All right. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description. Click some of those links. Helps out the channel. Helps you guys out. It's a win-win for everybody. I'm telling you, it's free money. I like money. Thank you guys so much for your time. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.